Hello friends, today we are going to discuss a important topic, rutting in flexible payments. Rutting is the longitudinal depression in the wheel path in a bituminous payment and it may be due to excessive consolidation which is formed by an accumulation of permanent deformations caused by repeated heavy loads or it may be because of lateral movement of the material which is caused by shear failure of the bituminous concrete layer or it may be because of combination of both of these mechanism consolidation as well as shear failure. There are two criteria of failure in flexible payments. One is fatigue, another is rutting. While fatigue cracking occurs due to high tensile strain developed at the bottom of the bituminous layer, the rutting failure occurs when the vertical compressive strain at the top of subgrade exceeds permissible limits. And these limits as you know they are determined using IIT PAVE software. Rutting can be in few millimeter or can be in few centimeter also depending upon several factors. And sometimes rutting is combined with cracking also. So in general rutting is a term which is used for permanent deformation or consolidation accumulated in an asphalt pavement surface over time. It is the depression in the wheel path. Pavement uplift or you can say shearing may also occur along the side of the rut. Ruts are particularly evident after rain when they are filled with water. And there are three basic types of rutting. Mixed rutting, subgrade rutting and densification. The mixed rutting occurs when the subgrade does not rut, yet the pavement surface exhibits wheel path depressions as a result of compaction or mixed design problem. Now here, mix lacks the internal strength to resist the permanent deformation due to loaded tire. This rutting is confined to HMA and it does not penetrate to the subgrade level. Wheel load will push down the mixture and it will flow in both sides of the load. Whenever there is a clear raised elevation on the edge of the wheel path, this is an indication of mixed rutting. This type of rutting remains confined to top layer and there is no rutting in the subgrade. Mixed rutting usually does not occur immediately but as more vehicles drive on the road, the asphalt continues to get depressed under the tires and pushed out along the side of the tires. There are several reasons of mixed rutting but important is a poor mix. If, when the mix lacks in internal strength to resist the permanent deformation under the stress imposed by the loaded tires. Excessive amount of asphalt in the mix can also result in rutting or use of softer grade of binder which can accelerate the rutting. If the binder is selected for a temperature above the actual recommended grade then rutting will almost certainly occur. Therefore, it is important to use the recommended grade binder to reduce the chances of rutting in the field. Excessive mineral filler or insufficient amount of angular aggregate in the mix can also result in rutting. Now, subgrade rutting occurs when the subgrade exhibits wheel path depression due to loading. In this case, the pavement settles into the subgrade ruts. So what happens here when the wheel load is applied on the surface of the pavement, there is a depression in the subgrade and aggregate base and HMA, they will settle down into the depression in the subgrade. Now, and this is the main cause of failure of flexible pavement. When there is an excessive deformation in subgrade soil, it will result in failure of the entire pavement. Two primary reasons of failure of subgrade. One, inadequate payment structure that is excessive stress application and the thickness of the payment is not adequate to take the load or it may be because of inadequate stability that is resistance to deformation under stress. 
if the soil is a poor quality it will not be able to resist the load coming from the wheel and ultimately it will fail it may be due to inadequate subgrade preparation also for example improper compaction or improper choice of the soil during replacement densification is another type of rutting and it occurs when there is insufficient compaction during construction and the pavement continues to compact under traffic loading there can be several other causes of rutting also like heavy channelized traffic and overloading of vehicles inadequate compaction of the mix at the surface or in the underlying courses during construction improper mix design as i told you earlier which lack in stability to support the traffic weak pavement due to either poor subgrade or inadequate design when thickness is not sufficient to bear the load or it may be the intrusion of subgrade clay into base cores or use of plastic filler in granular layers all these factors can cause rutting in the field there are many effects of rutting and hazardous too the first is that depressions will hold the water which will create the problem of hydroplaning it will increase the chance of accidents rutting will also cause economic loss because you have to replace the top layer that have developed ruts and sometimes replacing top layer is not enough it may require replacement of sub base too which can be very expensive as well as inconvenient also and rutting combined with cracks and potholes will require frequent maintenance cost IRC 82 categorizes rutting in two categories low severity and high severity when rutting is 4 to 10 mm deep it is of low severity when it is more than 10 mm it is of high severity the rutting can be measured either by using a 3 m straight edge or by transverse profiler in case of 3 m straight edge the straight edge is capped between two lanes or between the crown and the pavement edge in case of two lane road and the maximum gap between the straight edge and the surface of the pavement is measured it can also be measured through net network survey vehicle like this which can draw transverse profile of the road it has two rut scanners here which can take pictures of the surface of the road and draw the profile or it can also have high resolution cameras here which can draw 3d profile of the road surface it scans a 4 meter profile across the lane at very high accuracy and this 3d profile is used to determine rut depth even crack width and crack depth can also be measured now treatment for rutting in case of a heavy rutted pavement it should be investigated to determine the root cause of the failure whether it is because of insufficient compaction or it is because of subgrade rutting or poor mix design or it is because of studded tire wear and once you know the reason you can rectify it low ruts can generally be left untreated but pavement with deeper ruts should be leveled and overlaid rut can also be treated by filling with dense graded mix after applying a tack coat which is followed by compaction to the desired level in case there is a base failure or subgrade movement that will require excavation and rehabilitation of the pavement in summary there can be several reasons of rutting like lateral movement and consolidation of any of the layers of pavement or it may be because of weak subgrade it can be because of inadequate thickness of the pavement layers which will create undesirable strains it may be because of poor compaction of the pavement layers which will lead to infiltration of the rainwater or maybe because of weak mixture of asphalt 
and the potential actions to be taken is to mill off and apply thin overlay with HMA if there is no failure of subgrade or base layer or if it is only surface rutting then that can be treated by microsurfacing apply double coats to fill the rut properly chip seal can also be used if rutting is at low severity so finally I would say that although some of the causes of rutting can be prevented with good construction practices settlement will probably continue to play a part in causing rutting well into the future also even with high end compaction technologies available now rutting will continue to be a great challenge to highway professionals so thank you very much for watching this video you can write your comments in the comment box and keep watching